Okay, I've seen Bullet Train, so let's talk about my thoughts on this action film. So, the Bullet Train stars Brad Pitt, Joey King, Brian Tyree Henry, and Taylor Johnson, Logan Lerman, and more. This has a really, really great cast, and overall, I really enjoyed Bullet Train. Ladybug is an unlucky assassin who's determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs have gone off the rails. Fate, however, may have other plans, as his latest mission puts him on a collision, of course, over lethal adversaries around the globe, all with connected yet conflicting objectives on the world's fastest train. This is also directed by David Leach, who directed Deadpool 2. So, my thoughts on Bullet Train. I gave it four and a half on Letterboxd. I thought this was a great time. I saw this with two of my best friends and we had such a blast watching this. This is one of the first action films I've seen this year because I'm not that into action films, but this was great. The chemistry, first of all, that Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry had was incredible as Lemon and Tangerine, absolutely iconic and absolutely incredible. The Thomas the Tank Engine references elevated this film, oh my God. Also, Brad Pitt was really, really great in this film. All of his action was well. The action overall was really, really well choreographed. So the comedy in this film was done really well. It wasn't a spoof and it wasn't too much comedy. It was just the right amount of comedy. There were twists and turns in this film. There will be a point in this film where you think the film is about to end, but it has a whole other half an hour, 40 minutes. And I liked that. It did drag slightly by the end, but it felt good and it was necessary to the plot. And I loved how kind of, as you went through this, it got a little, it got more and more ridiculous and more, it did get slightly spoofy by the end and like more and more satire -y and it just, it kind of just felt, they were making fun of action films. They really were making fun of action films, but I really, really enjoyed this. There are some cameos in this film. There are two major cameos. Actually, I'm gonna say three major cameos, which were a lot of fun. And there is somebody who was in this film that you will not know from the trailers that is a very big part of this film. Also, this film was really, really stunning. There were a lot of shots that were absolutely lovely. There was a certain shot with Persona Mask in the rain, which I thought was amazing. I also thought Joey King was an absolute standout. I know people find her annoying, I do sometimes, but she was really good in the role that she was given in this film. She wasn't actually in it that much because we mainly focused on Brad Pitt and Lemon and Tangerine. Also, this film played flashbacks really well and that was one of my favorites and it was very clear, very easy to follow. And I just had such a great time with this film. I did cry during this film. I thought the ending was really nice. It does, it does leave room for a sequel, but it doesn't need to be a sequel. Would I watch Bullet Train 2? Yes. So overall, my thoughts on Bullet Train, it was great. I loved it. The action was amazing. Not the best film of the year, but it goes in number three. In my ranking, I've seen, 20, 20, I've seen 22, 2022 films so far, and I would put it at number three. I genuinely, and then it's everything everyone wants, and then it's the Batman. I genuinely loved this film. It just spot on. The, the, the action, the comedy, it was perfect. I don't think they could have done a better job. I did not have high hopes going to this, because I thought they would bottle it. But honestly, I really, really enjoyed this film. So let me know down below. What did you think about Bell Train? Did you like it? Did you not? Just let me know and definitely subscribe to my channel. We're getting very close to 500 subscribers. I believe we're on 498 currently. So definitely subscribe. I'll be doing a very fun video for 500 subscribers. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in a new one soon. I'm sorry about the gap between this video and the last video. I have the big video is for 500 subscribers. This is something I've been working on for about a week. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye.